There once was a locksmith named Pop, who crafted the most genius of locks. But the locks were too solid to open, and what good were they broken if they smashed them with rocks? No spinning, no prying, no picking or trying to bang them or force them apart. They've left men defeated, deflated their egos and crying when stuck at the start. And so the protagonist enters our story, a man with no glory to gain. Not clever, nor witty, a disgrace. What a pity, what a waste of a perfectly good brain. Through dumb luck and sheer chance, he must craft a new plan to outsmart this master designer. Through trial and error, his mind is just vacant, mistakenly forgetting the timer. Will he succeed, or will his mind simply bleed from the methods he's already tried? Only one way to know, just like this video, and please, don't forget to subscribe. This is the T12. Look at the size of this thing, by the way. This is a massive, massive puzzle. Probably weighs about, I'd say close to 10 pounds. Super, super heavy. The T12 is the latest edition of Rainer Pops locks. Now he puts one out a year. Uh, only 200 of these were made. They sold instantly for about $1,000 a piece, probably tripled in price by now. Rainer, as I mentioned before, is a master locksmith and craftsman. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little poem I put together, a little fairy tale. I had a lot of fun filming that and writing that, actually. So here is the lock. This comes with a key. It comes with a piece of paper that tells you the following. It says, no hitting, no shaking, force, or gravity need to open the lock, which is a relief. I don't want to use gravity. I'm happy. Uh, but it doesn't say no spinning. Do not use the key until you have found a keyhole. No random movements like turning the key indefinitely or rattling. Do not use the key to push buttons. You'll scratch your lock. If your fingers are too thick, might be the case. At a certain step, you may use a match or a similar to help you, okay. Sounds good, so without any further ado, here we go, solving the pop lock. So let's have a look around here. We got a few things going on. We got these three squares here, which don't seem to move in any direction. We've got these, a bunch of these brass circles, which I'm guessing are like pegs, maybe something. Uh, I got some more here in the back. We got two tiny ones here. Maybe that's what he was thinking because my fingers might be too large. We got some more here. Oh, and they feel like they move a little bit, some of them. Yeah, this one definitely pushes in a little bit. On the top, we have these and these ones as well. These two anyways move a little bit. These ones do not. There are little knobs here on the top, as you can see. And we have more of these circle things, these bars that are on the inside. And then we have the uh, the big bar, the big lock holding it all together. So that's what we're dealing with. So this here moves like two little buttons. <laughs> Oh, well, that's interesting here. When I press on these right here, watch what happens when I, when I press down on these two circles. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but keep your eye on these two pegs here, watch. They pop out just a little bit, watch. Just like that. There's a small movement there. This one here moves as well, so maybe, hmm. Curious. There's nothing special about the key, by the way. The key does not have any opening mechanisms to allow me to open it. It's not magnetic, as far as I know. So nothing really special or strange about the key. So I have this nice little notepad in case you need to take notes, courtesy of Craig Hill. They sent me this pen, cool knife here, a little desk knife, a lot of cool things. Makes my desk look fancy. That's really interesting the way that this, oh, this here. Bing, bing, maybe this and then. These seem to wiggle a little bit. These don't move at all, the ones that are in here. They don't seem to have any motion. Nothing on the bottom. This thing's really heavy. Like I would hate to even drop it from this high onto my hand. It would probably crush it instantly. Hmm, okay. That's curious. And these here, look at this. Click, click, very satisfying, but I don't know what it does. So we gotta try to find, um, you know, my guess is the keyhole is under these uh, three blocks here. So we gotta try to find a way to move these three blocks out of the way. They don't seem to move at all. Maybe if I press down on these two here, maybe now. And you can hear there's a slight movement. Hmm. This thing's a juggernaut, look at the size of it. I got a big hand, that's a big lock. And a weapon, simultaneously, a lock and a weapon. Oh, oh, here we go. What the heck? Why was that coming out just now? There we go. Aha! The keyhole. We have found the keyhole. Okay. Going to insert the key. And as you would expect, nothing happens. <laughs> okay. All right. What if we turn and now we press these buttons? No. Ah! 
Hello. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Does it do it? So it doesn't do it when the key's normal. It does, oh, it does it a little bit when the key's like the other way. And now it doesn't turn and doesn't extract. Okay, so I gotta push these in. Nothing. And then, yeah, okay. So that's a good sign. Now what? Now what? That doesn't turn at all. Do we leave that there? Now we gotta press these buttons maybe on the side? This one still pushes in quite a bit. Wait, what if it's like between? So I, I opened it like this. What if it's like this? No. All the way. You gotta press it again too. Ooh, because if I'm here, it will not pop open. These won't pop open until I press these two things. So we're just gonna go like this. What do we do with that information, you think? Okay, I feel like I have to get these pegs up somehow. So no matter, as long as it's turned to the side, those things will open. So you watch. But what does that do in the grand scheme of things? What does that accomplish? You know what, these here probably make those lift up. Let's try. Maybe another button, this one. You know what I mean? Kind of like the same effect with the other ones. Instead of, uh, instead of, you know, these ones here. I was trying to press different buttons from different combinations, trying to turn the key. The key doesn't turn when these things are out, so it has to be like this. What would you guys attempt right now? Is there anything you would attempt aside from getting a saw and cutting it open or smashing it? Like what strategy would you use right now? Because maybe I have to make these pins come out before these ones. And it's, a, it's like sequential in that way. You follow me? So I'm touching these other things. See right here. Oh. When I turn the key here, which is not all the way in, I feel this protruding a little bit. This, uh, this little button here. Right here, I feel that. So what does that mean? Maybe this comes into play somehow again. No marking on this pole, this, this bolt here. So this is the only one here, uh, this one is the only one that has a bit of movement. What for, whatsoever, what for. When I turn the key this way, this thing wants to come out, this little bar here. There's something stopping it, feel that right here. Well, that's interesting. I can, so before, like here, look, I can't turn, I cannot turn the key, uh, but when I pull this thing down, if I pull the key out, now all of a sudden I can turn the key. Huh, these don't go up. Well, that's interesting. Oh, <gasps> this thing went in, look. My fingers are too fat, need a tool. Bam, baby. Wait, this one, then two? Hold on a second. Oh, now I'm stuck here. Oh, right, okay, so I do need a tool for that because my fingers are too fat, apparently. So we've got this one and we can get these out. We just can't get them all out at the same time. Oh. But now the key's stuck there and it won't go further in. It will not come out. Okay, so how, how do I get all of them to come out? And how does this one come out? It's gonna be another button. These side buttons here don't work. Pull down, 
we twist. And now, oh yeah, this side button works here. Boom. But not that one now. Ah, oh, so cheeky. So I can only do, so I can do this one, I can do this one, and I can do these two. I just can't do them at the same time for some reason. So, okay, that's what we have to figure out now. So maybe they're in sequence. I can't do them in sequence because no matter which order I do them in, they lock as soon as they're out. Hmm. So wait, let's go back to the beginning here. Beginning, pull down. Okay. Pull down on this thing. Not all the way in. I can turn here. Now I can go all the way in. And now I can turn here. Only these ones don't come out anymore. Okay, try again. So pull down on this thing. Ugh. It's almost like I gotta unlock these two layers. Sorry if you can't see. So I'm pulling down this and I'm inserting this only a little bit. And then I'm turning. And that would normally unlock one of these two. This one here, okay? But uh, we're not gonna do that. We just wanna get it to that position. Still no, okay. See that key is now stuck in there because that pins up. Only when that pins down can I move that key. That's the catch 22 here. If I turn to this side, this pin, pops up, and if I turn to this side, this pin pops up, okay? Let's say I go in the middle of both of them, like this. No, no, now we'll move it all. Yeah, here we go. Oh, so I can only actually, okay, so there's two ways the key can go in. It can go all the way in or it can go here. Uh, when it's here, it doesn't actually turn unless this is pulled down and this is right way up, because watch this. Won't turn, now it turns. So that has to be up, that has to be down. Um, then, these will not move, so I definitely have to come back. See, now I could, now I could push that in if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, because that'll prevent me from the next step. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to turn the key That can push in. Now that could push in. But now they can't push in, and now these ones go. What the heck? I'm gonna try this. Key goes in this down oh that was interesting so this stayed locked the entire time if I'm here I can I can lock it because watch if I keep turning it'll pop up boom just like that so maybe I want to keep it locked right this has to be up Okay, 
This is interesting. So if I pull down on this, I can twist the key. And if I twist the key, I might be able to lift one of these locks, no? Why did it do it before? I have to do so many things at once. Doesn't work. But I'm getting the key to turn now that these pegs are up, which is, I think, a big bonus here. Still, these things are not being pushed in. The side bolts here to release the top ones. Oh! Where's my pen? Boom. Boom. Okay. <laughs> my key's now stuck. All four bolts are up. Hello, what's going on? Okay, big milestone here. We got all four bolts up. Somehow, uh, with a combination of pulling this, pulling this down, and playing with these knobs, it, uh, it came apart. However, now, my key is definitely stuck in here. There's no amount of pulling or prying, or even pushing down on this little thing that will take, oh, unless I put this upwards. Right, 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 I'm gonna put that upwards. No, still no. Key is now stuck. Uh, this thing does not come, okay. Are there any other buttons that I must push? Okay. I thought that would do it. I thought that was it. I thought that was the end of it. These ones seem to be able to move, however. Oh, oh, there we go. I can turn this one. Now it stopped turning. I can turn this one. This one's turning, okay. Oh, no, now it stopped. Only a little bit. Oh, I have to press these buttons. Mm -hmm. Okay, these top knobs somehow shift by pressing on the buttons, I believe. That one turned and now it's not turning, so I don't know. Oh, if I press down here, sorry about the focus. If I press here, I'm able to turn this one. If I push it in a little bit. Doesn't seem to do anything though. My fingers are, the, the tips of my fingers are really hurting right now. It's all this metal work. Okay, what if we turn the key and then try turning one? Push here, push here. See, it kind of like pops up when I push, see? And then I can't turn it, but if I pressed on this, I can push it down and then I can turn it a little bit. I'm gonna apply constant pressure on this pole here. Yep. <sighs> Woo. All right, there you have it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. That's pretty interesting. So when I press down on this thing and I turn, watch the inside of that little pole here. Watch that. See that? So that's what's locking this pin. So when these things are turned, they're interlocking with this. And then uh, I'm still a little bit confused with the solution. Um, I know I had to turn these things, uh, but what orientation? I can't remember which orientation I turned them. I don't necessarily remember the order of this here with, with the turning and pulling. And, and, and so I'm still a little bit confused. We did end up opening it. I did do the right uh, movements to get it open. However, I just don't remember what those movements specifically are, but I'm sure if I did it all over again, I'd be able to do it a lot quicker than, uh, than 45 minutes. Nonetheless, what a cool lock this is. And here's what we're gonna do. The solution is actually provided when you buy this. So we are for the first time going to open her up. have it 
So if we look here, okay, we had to pull that down. Okay, turn the key. Turn the key. So there's a lot of key motions here, as you can as you can see. Slide down the lower part of the of the escutcheon. Escutcheon. You got to put the key in. Don't go all the way. Put it in. Pull it out. Turn it. Even this looks really confusing. And then the buttons. So we figured out, that's interesting. So we actually figured out some of the buttons before I guess we were supposed to, which is kind of cool. It just goes to show you that not all uh, solving goes according to plan. And I'm glad that it didn't prevent anything. And that's the mark of a good puzzle, I think. A good sequential puzzle anyways, is that even if you're doing things and you and you fall upon steps that are later, you still cannot advance until you've done the steps that are required, which are these ones. So that came open. Okay, here we go. So depress the rear pins uh, just a tad, then rotate them. Turn left 90 clockwise, the right one 90 clockwise. And then these ones, okay, so the pins here, um, I don't remember how they were placed, but I had to turn these ones outside and then Outside, so it's this way. So like this and like this, because the inside of these pins, and here's, here. this this is actually really cool. Check this out. That is the construction of the inside of that lock. Now tell me, I, I don't even care right now, but most of you are like a thousand dollars for that. Like this thing, look at this. This thing looks like Swiss cheese. A thousand dollars for this, yes, because look at this. Your average brain cannot comprehend what goes into building this. I cannot comprehend what goes into building that. Like there are so many variables, not including like any type of small design flaw would probably, you know, prevent this from opening. Like just take a look at that. That is insane that someone's come up with that and it works and it opens up and here it is. So let's, let's put this thing back together. I think, I think it should be easy enough. Does this matter what side it's on? I don't think so. So that goes here. Okay, I think we're just gonna rotate in the opposite way of the way they're rotated right now. Okay, so that's there. Oh, there we go. Just turning them and you can kind of feel. There we go. Oh, that came back up. And there we go. We're gonna pull this out. Oh, keep that up. Turn the key. So resetting it is actually a lot easier. It seems like, yeah, here we go. We're gonna pull this down. Put that back in there. And that is now locked. And there you go, that is the T12. Absolutely great puzzle. You know, manipulating it can be a little bit difficult, but the obviously the intricacy of the mechanics of this puzzle is fantastic. Is it my favorite T-lock? My uh, my favorite pop lock? I don't think so. I think my favorite still remains this one here because of the ingenious solution using the uh, air compressed chamber here. However, I do like this a lot more than uh, most of the T, the, the pop locks. These things are hard to find, they're hard to come by, so no matter what, it's a collector's item. So there you have it, that is the T12 pop lock. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. I know half of you aren't, I'm watching you. And uh, stay safe out there, guys. Keep your hands clean, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.